Hey, welcome to another video in this channel. Today I have a very cool watch. It's a Chinese chronograph and the cool thing about this watch is that it's completely automatic for less than $200. Can you believe that? It's about the Seagull 1963 Red Star Panda chronograph. This is how this watch looks. And if you like what you see, then stick to the video and let's talk about this pretty cool timepiece. So here we have this pretty cool looking Seagull 1963 Panda chronograph. This wristwatch holds a special place in the hearts of watch enthusiasts, particularly those who appreciate vintage inspired designs and mechanical craftsmanship. This Seagull 1963 pays homage to the Tianjin Seagull Watch Company's historical chronographs produced in the 1960s. It draws inspiration from the Chinese Air Force's commissioned watches during in that era. This is the version which they call Panda, which the configuration refers to the black sub-dial set against this white dial, resembling the facial features of a panda. On the right sub-dial, it calculates the elapsed minutes when doing the chronograph function of this watch, and on the left sub-dial, it shows the current seconds of the current hour and minutes of the day. When you first hold this watch, there's an immediate sense of nostalgia and craftsmanship. The first thing that catches your eye is the striking contrast between the white dial and the black sub-dials. This layout is so clean and balanced that with the sub-dials positioned symmetrically and the red accents adding a subtle pop of color, each detail from the vintage style fonts to this elegant handset reflects a meticulous attention to design. And what makes it unique is that this design comes from over 60 years ago. When you run your fingers along the case, you will notice the smooth curves and polished surfaces. My version of this watch came with the acrylic crystal, and while not as scratch resistant as sapphire, it has a certain warmth and character to it. It gives the dial a slightly domed appearance that enhances its vintage aesthetic. What do you think about it so far? It looks pretty cool, right? Do you get vintage vibes out of it? Let me know in the comments. Now one thing I wanted to mention is that this review is not sponsored by anyone. This is just myself talking about my experience with this pretty cool watch. However, I have an affiliated link to AliExpress in the description of this video that will take you straight to this watch. So if you're interested about it, you know where to click. And I would get some sense out of it to get some coffee and make more videos for you. Now, talking about the dimensions, this watch has a case diameter of 40 millimeters, a lug to lug of 50 millimeters, a case thickness of 14.5 millimeters, a lug width of 20 millimeters, and water resistance of 30 meters. And my favorite feature about this watch is that it has an exhibition style case back displaying the awesome looking movement. This watch comes with a Seagull ST1901 one movement. This movement is a mechanical hand wind movement, so that means that you constantly have to keep winding this watch to make it work, and it has a power reserve of around 40 hours. The thing about this movement is that sometimes I don't know how much pressure I should put on the crown, but so far I had no issues and everything has been operating well, but if you have any suggestions on how to operate this crown, like how tense it should stay, please let me know in the comments, that would be nice to hear. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I do not have a timing machine tester. I do use an app on my phone that does something similar to it. And in my case, my watch is advancing 12 seconds per day. However, this may vary depending on how much power reserve the watch currently has. The pushers of this watch work surprisingly well. I never had any issues with them. The start, stop, and then the reset, everything is perfectly fine. And it resets right on the 12 o'clock without any misalignment. So that's a very nice thing to see. And here is a shot showing everything working when the chronograph function is active. And I'll be honest with you, this is one of the reasons of why I bought this watch. I think it looks pretty awesome. About the loom of this watch, it does its job, it functions, you can tell the time and night, however, it's not completely bright. But it's very good for what it is. You can see that it has loom applied to the hour and the minute hands, as well as all the hour marks on exception of the 3 and 9 o'clock. 
And as you might have noticed, I am not wearing this watch with the leather strap that is provided with it. And in my opinion, the negative aspect of this watch is the leather bracelet that it comes with. So here, this is a different strap that I added after purchase and I feel it looks so much better and is much more comfortable than the original stiff bracelet. So yup, if you buy this watch, you might be looking into an extra strap. And the next section of this video, I'll be showcasing a bunch of straps for you. And in case any of these straps interest you, you can find the links that will send you directly to them in the description of this video. Today I'm wearing this very nice looking Pagani Design model PD1717 and I think it's a very nice watch for the price. And this is how this amazing Seagull 1963 Red Star Panda Chronograph looks like on my 6.7 inch wrist. It fits me very well, but check out the lugs, they do stick out a little bit. However, it's not concerning because they mold to your wrist without problems. I still enjoy the design that this watch offers. What is your opinion on this? Do you like how the lugs look? Are you okay with them sticking out? Let me know in the comments. Okay, now back to the straps. This is the original leather bracelet that came with this watch. It's a crocodile style leather bracelet. I don't like how it feels. To me, it's very stiff and not very good quality. It does feel cheap. And I do recommend another strap when you get this watch. But this is how it looks, so you have an idea. What do you think? So this is how it looks with this nice quick release black NATO strap with the white line in the middle. It fits very comfortable and what I like about it is that this strap is a little bit thicker so it does feel the lugs a little bit more giving you less of that sense of emptiness from the big lugs. Here is also another pretty cool looking quick release NATO strap from the brand Altera and this one is with the color grey so it gives a very nice contrast with the overall look of the watch. And this one is just a simple quick release NATO black strap. And last but not least, this is the leather strap made out of ostrich and I think it looks pretty cool as well. What do you think about this strap showcase? Let me know in the comments. And here is how this watch looks outdoors, so you can have an idea. I'm in a shaded area and the sun is very bright and I think it's very legible. And as you can see, there is some reflection to it, but nothing concerning. And here is a pocket shot. And a front shot. As far as pricing goes, I purchased this watch for around $180, but I know that they go up and down in value, and I've seen them going as low as $150. I think that $150 for a fully mechanical chronograph watch is insane. So I would recommend this watch to anyone that is interested in getting into mechanical watches because I don't think there's any other better introduction than this watch. It has a very nice vintage and historical look, a chronograph, and you can also see the pretty awesome movement functioning in the case back. However, do get a new strap. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it.